you said Twitter's fun, you know, obviously until you lose a game. And, you know, you met you. Well, uh, that, that was my message to Nick. Yeah, I don't right. find Twitter a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the only thing, uh, the only thing I would, uh, the only thing I ever daydream about in relationship to pro football is that when you coach in the NFL, you can you can turn all social media off forever and never have to look at it again. Unless Pete Carroll is yeah. there, right? <laughs> yeah, which is God bless him. But I mean, it's unf- it's it's for me. It's a way to get our message out. It's a way to continue to talk about our players, to talk about our university, frankly, to talk about our town, um, because it, it enables me to have a reach. Um, but and that's part of my job is to is to. Uh, talk about how great Reno is and talk about how great our school is and celebrate other sports and and more importantly celebrate our kids the other thing I've done a little bit more this year in terms of my family Uh, I was pretty protective of them at the beginning but at the same time this is really for recruiting let's be honest about it and you want recruits to see you as a dad they want to see you as a husband uh, I learned that from Fred Hoiberg. I kind of studied how well he was the basketball coach at Iowa State, how he kind of ran it. Um, and then occasionally I'll talk about the other two things I know, which is Bruce Springsteen and food. I try to stay out of the politics. I try to stay out of all the other stuff that, you know, the minute you say 50, 50% of the people want to run you over in their truck and the other 50% love you, I, I try to stay away from that stuff. But yeah, it's, so, it's you had great conversations with Boise State fans in the past, right? Yeah, I blocked all three of those guys that were. <laughs> <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't played them obviously last year, but do you still hear from any of them? Or? No, I blocked them. All the all the guys that were snarky, I just blocked. And to be honest with you, I'm I'm not tech savvy, right? Yeah. So. A lot of it was fun, but then some of it was just stupid and made me angry. And uh, and I said to one of my young assistants, I'm like, this stuff drives me nuts. He's like, block him. I'm like, you can do that? He's like, yeah, <laughs> you can hit a button, and this guy can say whatever he wants, and you'll never see it. And once I discovered that, the four morons that were driving me nuts have now gone away. You said, you said, you said. I think last year you said that sometimes you'd show your wife and she'd just kind of laugh at it. Yeah. And so, so even even after that, she doesn't mind that you know now you're involving the family a little more after she saw some of the stuff. Yeah, she. <laughs> yeah, she got a good sense of humor about it. My my two kids are, are Pams. I mean, once they see the camera come out, they start preening. So. Uh, it's you know it is what it is it's a lot 90 percent of it's fun 10 percent of it the one thing i do do and i learned this from jim harbaugh i try to stay off of it during the season because obviously that's when fans are being fans to the utmost and if you listen to the fans you're gonna end up sitting next to them eventually uh so um you know we we try to uh, you know during the season i might put something out after a game or or you know if I'm really excited about what one of our guys did, but for the most part, I try and lay low during the season. 